How about Welcome we go back, to, uh, everybody, to another episode of Donald and World. We got to talk to the king. How about king, we go king. to actually Zelda's house? I know, probably nothing will happen. I'll be like, oh, we gotta go talk to the king. Or some shit like that. Stupid. Stupid. I know, I know. But whatever, we gotta go talk to the king. The king of the king, 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 who is king of the king. Divided. Oh. It's Alice. Yep. My, my. If it isn't my slippery little friends from Flanor. We can fight you right here. It doesn't make a difference where. <laughs> oh, Stupid. we already have one of those. Well, it's a different form. That's a clay golem. We can't fight here. Why not? No, we we can fight here. That's a monster. Clearly, no, other people can tell it's a monster. I don't care if this city gets blown into tiny little pieces. Well, how's it's that gonna blow to into die. tiny pieces? Then you mistake blowing into tiny pieces the city for your clay golem. Let's wreck him. Okay. That's. Oh, we have to fight our little balloon monster too. Actually, you know what? Probably be smarter to kill it. Holy him. fuck, that did damage. No, it didn't. It did damage to me. No, it didn't. It took like less than half your health. Not that much damage at all. Why don't you, uh, dude, use prism swords on the clay golem and then keep holding circle. Actually, no. Oh. Because it's going to heal all of us and Radiant should wreck his shit. Yep. Boom. Healed. And should be strong enough to finish him off. Whatever. He, does, he, he really doesn't care. Sabnog, Sabnog went up 11 and levels, up. and he went up 13 levels. What happened? I, I didn't see it. What happened? Holy shit. Grimclaw? Riddle? Riddle? He does things. Fucking fan. dumbass. Greek joke. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That's an ancient Greek joke. <laughs> you wouldn't get it unless you were there. No one would get it then. They're all dead. <laughs> Give up, Alice. You lost. You could literally send like five of those against us and it'd be the same fight. Oh, I don't think so. I guess he gets back up. Oh, and he's back up! Kill him again. Could do it easily. Do you think that's gonna stop us? Oh, it's gonna explode! I'll break the little darling with a special collar that self destructs if he gets defeated. So we're actually gonna have the monster die. That's really rude. What the hell? Watch Lloyd come in and just slice the arms off. Or Zelos. Eh, whatever. Let go of him right now. Like he's gonna. I'll handle this. That's actually impressive, all things considered. Mm-hmm. Come on. I want a really cool scene. Come on. Transform. Come on. Transform. No. What should we do? This is a very long exploding time. Yeah. Because I didn't really care. Well, I probably rigged it so it would be a big explosion and have enough time to leave. Oh. Allow me. Hmm? Servant of darkness, bend to my it's not a dark creature. Nope. It's a magical being. Yeah. Well, it could still be dark. But then, if it's a clay one, it's gonna be. Yeah, so. Are you just carrying it away? I, I guess. With the tail? I guess? Tenebrae! Please stay back. Tenebrae's not gonna die from just this. Drop it in the Coliseum. Yeah, it's pretty big. It should take the explosion really well. And Why she'll fall. Yeah. He's like, well. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> gotta look around, gotta look around. Make sure nobody's crossing the street. Yeah, it's actually a pretty empty courtyard. Why not just there? Ah, he straight up Iron Man himself. Or I guess Batman, actually. No, Iron Man. Tenebrae! Iron Man and Avengers. 
answer me, Tenebrae? He's not... He's not dead, is he? He can't. <sighs> he can't be. Pretty sure not, because then wouldn't his, uh... Emil's cloak go away? It's since that was like made out of darkness? Well then, uh, Marta's whole entire mission is done. Because then yeah. all the uh, centurions need to be awake. Well, he was awake. He's dead, but he's awake. I don't think he's dead. I am... 96% sure. Mm -hmm. Fire! Wind! Bend to my will! What? What is this? The centurions? Are they gonna come into being? Probably. Which is cool, because we finally get to see them outside their crystal form. Centurions will rise time and time again. All that is needed is the power of Lord Radatosk. Uh, what, what, what just happened? Now he has the power. Why would his face? This is the reason why I should be the one in control. I think it's a per split personality thing, like with Sensory mm -hmm. from Yu Hawk Show. You know, he had like a bunch of different forms of himself. Yeah. Don't worry. Things like that, but the just The Centurion too. told me that Tenebrae is only asleep. I'm gonna go after him. Hmm? What do you mean, go after him? Where? The Temple of Darkness. If it's the same as the other centurions we've encountered, then there should be an entrance to the altar in there. Is yeah, it someone doesn't go there first? What about Glacius, though? Now I understand. I'll go with you. What about you, Regal? I'll meet with His Majesty and advise him on the situation with Glacius's core first. After that, I'll follow you. Whatever. All right. Then we'll meet you there. Okay. Yeah, that's the party. Ah, the bummer. Regal left. It's cool. But are, are we are we permanent red-eyed Emil now? Looks like it. Oh yeah. shit! Sweet. Did that Do change stats anything? Or anything? No. no. They're all exactly the same, but I am now red-eyed Emil. New ability? No. Anything different? Other than aesthetics. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Centurions are such mysterious oh. creatures. You got that um. right. I mean, they just return to their altars when they're injured. Actually, when they are inflicted with so much damage that they revert to their core state, they're supposed to return to Radatosk himself. Then Tenebrae is with me? But Radatosk is also currently in core form, without the powers. He doesn't have the strength to heal the Centurions. What? So Tenebrae returned to his altar. Or at least that's what they said. You mean the other Centurions? Yeah. Wait, so if Radatosk wasn't taking his nap, there'd be no need to go to the Temple of Darkness? If Probably to be no need to do any of this. Awake, we wouldn't be on this journey in the first place. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the, what's the exclamation point thing, though? But Emil hey, just kind of, like, smiled at the end of that conversation. Okay? Yeah. It's like, hmm. He's just changed back into a core, right? He's not dead or anything, right? No, he's not dead. You don't have to yell at me, you know. <laughs> Sorry. The Centurion can always be revived as long as their mana source doesn't dry up. They're like summon spirits in that way. The Centurions say it's not a question of his being alive or dead. Okay, I get it. I'm sorry. I shouldn't panic just because I don't understand. No. I like you better angry than meek and apologetic. <laughs> the Emil in Ratatosk mode tells it straight like a man. Damn! <laughs> Alright. I still don't think it's Ratatosk mode. It's some shit. <coughs> they say it. They keep saying it repeatedly. I have my belief. You agree with me, right? Because remember? Yeah, I mean, he, we, he did it before he knew yeah. about Ratatosk. Fucking didn't even know anything about Ratatosk. Nothing about Ratatosk. Unless Ratatosk was affecting him prior to that. Well, then why? Because Knowing that he would eventually become the knight. Presence. That, that's why. It's weird. Bright enough to see in here without the blue candle. Must be because Shadow's gone. Bring out Shadow. Candle. When Shadow was in this temple, it was pitch black. Let me see. Let me remember though. What do that book Abyssian has? Is it still in the library in Meltokyo? No, not Meltokyo. The town nearest. So, what was the town called? Who cares? The Academy. Oh, yeah. The Academy. 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 <laughs> you know, I'm finding it's it dead. difficult to warm up to a meal in Ratatosk mode. <laughs> Sheena, 
Uh, right, sorry. I know he is Emil. But anyway, come on, let's go. Wait. I just realized something. Mm. I don't think there's rat task mode. I don't know about, um... Here, we'll do the skit first, then I'll tell you about it. That the Temple of Darkness would be so dark. You yeah. scared? N not scared, exactly. Dark places always make you wonder what might be hiding in them. There isn't much that scares me, though, thanks to all the training I've been through. Sheena, there's something on your back. Ah! What? What is it? <laughs> it? It was just a cobweb. Oh, c cobwebs, right. Don't startle me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing scares me. <laughs> ah, shit! <laughs> That was quick. All right, all right. Um, just. Oh my God, so many skits. Ooh, oh, it's a different imp. Mm hmm. Mm. Imp two point oh. Mm. Weak. Right. <laughs> Weak. But um. Oh wait, I think my health must have spiked from that. Look at my max health. Damn. I don't remember it being that high. Well, it could have been. I just never. Bye bye. Yeah, goodbye to you too. Asa Fiber. You knocked out of my combo, you f Oh, it's a treasure chest. <laughs> you come through like a flaming <laughs> fist. <laughs> Prepare to die. Okay, no, okay, okay, okay. Remember what they said about Centurion cards when a normal person handles them? Mm -hmm. They come super aggressive and violent? Mm -hmm. What is Ratatask mode? Super aggressive and violent. Exactly. Damn, Alice. How could she do so I think he Next is in some way handling a core. Or did when he was a kid. But I don't think it would stick like that. You're too soft. I'd sling a rope around her and hang her from the tops of the Fuji Mountains. I understand how you both feel, but I can't say I approve of your choice of words. Harsh words are evidence of troubled minds. Okay then. The next time I have the pleasure of a rendezvous with Lady Alice, <laughs> I would truly enjoy the opportunity to politely wrap her up with ropes and kindly submerge her in the beautiful waters of Flanor Harbor. <laughs> <laughs> well, Malang. Malang. What does this thing just? Chilling? Are those a bunch of like spiked clubs? Yeah, there's not. Oh, I just thought. Special weapons now. Let's finish this. Oh, what did the little knight dude? I want him. Is there a witch? Was there a witch? Oh my god, we're killing everything and getting them on our team. We're killing every single creature in this place and getting them on our team. Yeah, use the spell. No more sab knock. We're going with whatever magical creature this thing is. I'm sorry, sab knock, but you've been replaced. But he's a magical being. The name is really good though. Sabnock the Golem. Oh damn. Damn. Damn Skippy. So that is my theory. And it's coming to fruition and I still think I'm tr right. These are little, yeah. Yeah, that, which is weird. I think at some point in, time, in this room. You know what it could be? Maybe Lloyd, Emil, and Richter all have a connection somehow. You know what I mean? Like, wow, those clubs actually were doing, um, Fenrir. Really? Because he's still Oh, stunning him. Like, stun, 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 no, stun, No, it doesn't matter how much damage it does that anyway. What did you say? It doesn't matter for damage. It, it just always does that. We need to find you a better weapon. Which we could easily do if we could just make a freaking Philosopher's Stone. Look at that. I want it. Can you tell me you don't want that little knight guy? Are you telling me you don't want him on the team? Just wham! <gasps> His name is Dolohan! Which, I guess, makes sense. It's like being a headless knight and all. So... I, I... I... Oh, wow! Oh, no! It's not a little witch! It's a little Grim Reaper! Oh, my God. I want him on the team. It has to be on the team. Oh, I got a new skill! Light, Light spear, spear cannon. cannon? Gotta try it, bro. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. Do I switch out, though? Demon Fang? Havoc Strike. When I was time I used Havoc Strike. Alright, let's see this Light Spear Cannon. Uppercut from from a spin impact and end with a thrust. You know, I think I think Zealous gets that move, but we never used one of Zealous' offensive moves. I can't remember mm -hmm. the name. Oh, remember them when the pillar exploded? Yeah. Yeah, it didn't happen. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Liar! I remember the history of this temple. Oh, I know everything about this temple. In the next episode, we're like, I remember the oh, no, Shadow Blob. In the, oh my god, those shadow blobs. We don't, we don't talk about the shadow blobs, Peter. <laughs> I think we can thoroughly agree that of all the video games we've ever played, that's in the top five most bullshit thing ever. Yes. 
That'll be it for this episode. Don't like, subscribe, or comment in the bottom section below. I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace. Peace.